Okay. Welcome back to Review Housing with Dan Housing and Davis and Nicholas. We have Auntie Anne's pretzels, sponsored by, not sponsored by Panda Express. And what is when you got a different variety? Are you excited? Yes. You're excited? Yes. You got a different variety of pretzels. What is this one? This is pepperoni style. Never had it. This is. Ooh, cinnamon sugar. Oh! Sounds spicy. Cinnamon sugar? Yeah. No. Good you ever do the cinnamon challenge? Cinnamon is a spice. Where you take a spoon of cinnamon and you do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this bag. It's a nice bag. And, oh, I got. Because I didn't know if they were going to send the, uh, the pepperoni thing? pizza one. So I also got the classic you style. Tell me cinnamon's not a spice? I don't know. Classic style uh, pepperoni pizza thing because they said zero dollars on it when I ordered it. So I thought it was a mistake and wasn't going to send because mm. there was no deals, no promotional deals. Yet here we are. All right. So what? So I suppose we should try the classic first. Yes. Classic style. Ooh, look at that. That looks like they just cut up a big one. Uh, these are called nuggets. All right, let's see. This one has no salt on it. Do we get any dipping sauce? Ah, uh, no. Do I look like a billionaire? Kind of. That's true. Uh, this is a pretzel. Mmm. It, it is. It tastes like a great time. Yeah. It's a good pretzel. Mm. This has nothing to do with that. I just wanted to order all of these. And then decided to review how she it. I would agree with Davis. Dipping sauce would be good. Well, maybe he has some sort of soy sauce or something. Do you have any mustard? He does. Mm, Parchments. I hate mustard, but get it for the boys. I think these are so good. You don't need anything. You don't need anything no. with these. I don't really get No, you don't. You don't. I'm just... You know what always happens to me? What? I'm, I'm honestly surprised you didn't get sauce is all I'm saying. No, because every time I go to the movie theater, I get cinnamon sugar, mm. and I get the frosting to dip them in yeah and every single time it creates an impenetrable fortress where i go to hit it and it is not a sauce it's too thick it is a shield it's and it blocks frosting. it and then i have to smash it yeah and then you get kind of some but it usually falls off and then nothing gets on it every single time it needs to be more of like a liquid in the snow yeah, right. yeah. it needs like some sort of little like a holder tray sort of thing that keeps it warm mm-hmm Okay, so next, uh, should we do the pepperoni next and then end it with the dessert? Sure. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. We have a whole meal. That's true. They put it in a cup. You could probably drink these. All right. Oh, oh. sorry. Sorry, everyone. I'm going to show the camera. Thank you. It's got pepperoni. It's got cheese. What the hell is this? Some it's like a little of... tiny pizza. It is like a little tiny pizza. All right, let's see. Pepperoni style. Who would you dip this in? Marinara? Not cheese sauce again. Or, you put um, cheese sauce on this? Absolutely. Oh. Don't you eat the... Oh, you don't get the cheese sauce on the parcel pizza. Right? No. Little Caesar. I switch it. Yeah. Also, Little We're Caesar. We're also in the Midwest, so I, I would do all that with uh, ranch. Oh. Well, not here to this. This is fine. Oh, yeah, that's good. Huh? I would rather have pizza. This needs a marinara. The regular salt is better. Yes. Okay, do you want to try this? Or like a garlic sauce. We shall try this classic style one, too, while we're at it. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be the same, but... Yeah, well, I bought it, so... Good. Is one for you? My thumb is all over it. Great. There you go. Thanks all right, let's... Thumb pizza. You're welcome. Thumb style pizza! Pink. Ah. Yeah. That first tastes like the same thing. What okay. the hell? It's just a different shape, and it still tastes the same. Weird. That could do some ranch. Wait, this one needs a dipping sauce. All right, now to the best. There I'll you go. Say these pretzels are making me thirsty. Oh. That's a lot of cinnamon sugar. Yes. These are great. These are mm. mess. Also, yeah. the only reason I'm asking about the spice thing is because spices are usually made from seeds. 
Cin this cinnamon's made from like bark, so I don't know if that counts as. That's all. Welcome to Bill Nye the Science Guy. Today we have uh, bark. bark. My point is, science. I don't know if it counts. I don't know. I, I would think it would. It's what? A tree? A spice. That's how I was thinking of it. A cinnamon spice. Sure. It is a spice. What are we arguing about? If cinnamon is a spice. It is a spice. It is called cinnamon spice usually. What else it's would it be? Spice. What, what else, else would you call it? Technically, spices are like seeds that are grounded up. And this is like made from trees? Like, like, well, like herbs are like like leaves and plant, plant part of it. And this is cinnamon's made from bark. Explain it like a five-year-old to me. So it's I, an herb? I don't know how to break it down. Cinnamon and herb? I, maybe. I don't know. Like a, I like never a, thought of like it. A ah! Or like arugula? Does it taste good? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Wait, do you think arugula is an herb? Arugula is <laughs> salad. <laughs> what do you say? What am I thinking? Oregano? Then? Oregano. <laughs> that is on pizza, which is not on this pizza. Oh, yeah. That's the best one. Power dust. Oh, I don't know. Salted or that. This you know, doesn't you know, I want to dip, dip, dip that in butter. I think it Probably already. it was, right? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, look at this dust. Butter Power good. dust. So, in ranking, I say... They're all the same. One, two, three. No, you're wrong. This one is worse. It's worse? I don't know. They're, I'd eat them all. This one is objectively worse than these two. I mean, I wouldn't say no. It's not way, bad. This is the pepperoni. This is the salted. Yes. That's, That's true. The sugar. Yes, I say that the pepperoni is the plainest tasting one. Yeah. Like, if I was going to go there, I wouldn't order the Wait, like, I think I'd rather pepperoni. just pick the pepperoni. The pe Did you say the pepperoni? Uh, the pepperoni? I wouldn't order the pepperoni. To pick the pepperoni. I'd actually, I'd actually I would go with the, the classic. Off of that. I would go mm. with the classic. I just need pepperonis. Pepperonis. Oh, really? With maybe a spicy mustard is what I would want. Well, I say still. Or cheese. Maybe like a carrot. You know the cream cheese stuffed pretzels? No. Nah. They're great. Is that a word? Yeah. <laughs> These are great. Yeah. Ah, my job hot. Well, be careful. No. You're chewing too hard. You guys can eat this one. I don't want these. Right. You guys can. I wish I got a, a gallon of this that they sold. They sold a gallon. Thirty-five dollars for a gallon of this. I don't see that. How does it? How does that work out? There? It says there's five twenty-ounce cups inside of it, and it comes with some sausages. Oh, oh yeah. that's how you get the sauce. No, they were two dollars each. For sauce? Yeah, caramel sauce, sweet glaze, cheese sauce. Some other type of sauce, a jalapeno maybe, which maybe would be good for this. Oh, yeah. Well, anyways. Jalapeno cheddar? No. Yeah, this is Review Housing with Dan Housing. This was Auntie Anne's Pretzels. The enemy of Wetzel's Pretzels. That's true. You ever hear of it? Yeah. Oh. Andy Swastik used to work there. My friend. Yeah. In high know. school. I like Andy. He worked there. He would get a check once every... Two months because they forgot he worked there multiple times <laughs> and then we would go to pick it up and they go who are you and then he would go i work here i have a check i worked one hour for four weeks ago and then they'd go uh we don't think you work here anymore here's your nine dollars here's your nine dollars and then we'd go great we're going to a and w okay anyways that was history with dan housing and uh we'll see you later